Recognized for one minute. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I came to the floor yesterday to talk about 145 teaching jobs that were saved thanks to the Recovery Act in one community school district alone. Today, I'd like to talk about jobs that have been created and saved for Oregon's first responders. Mr. Speaker, just yesterday, the first wave of COPS grants were announced. That means 21 more police officers patrolling our streets in Oregon, thanks to the Recovery Act. A number of those are in Oregon City, a city I know very closely, who desperately needs the assistance for an understaffed police department. These are 21 first responders that would not have been on the job again without this recovery package. The Oregon Department of Corrections also received $103 million to save guard positions and prevent prisoners from being released from Oregon's prisons. Oregon's in very tough shape with this economic downturn. These are just a few examples with more announcements on the way. Over the next couple of weeks, burn grants targeted to help local police communities investigate and prosecute criminals and provide revenue for juvenile justice programs that help steer our troubled youth away from a life of crime. The Recovery Act is working. What purpose does the gentleman from Virginia?